Hey guys, welcome back to Pikmin 2, and yes, we're still in a goddamn dungeon. Uh, days in Pikmin 2 go on forever because of this. So, you've got a day in Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 3, it's like roughly 13 to 15 minutes. In Pikmin 2, since time does not pass in dungeons for some reason, I don't... Oh, I thought it was daylight savings or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> Every single hour. <laughs> so, literally zero time will pass when you're inside a dungeon, meaning individual days in Pikmin 2 can go on for basically as long as you want them to. You can keep on... Ah, no! I don't know why the game does that sometimes. I switched to whites, and you can tell that because I threw the first white, but for some reason the game just decided to throw reds after that for... I, I don't know why. It's it's irritating. Just hold your breath. Ugh. They're, they're, they're hey, not smart enough. Bullshit. The red Pikmin holding that mushroom should become purple Pikmin by default. Yeah, they they, they really should. But the, they actually, they never bring back the evil Pikmin from the puff stool ever again, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, there's also another version of Pikmin that don't get brought back after Pikmin 2, which is also a shame, but we'll get to those uh, soon enough. Um... But, yeah, uh the, uh... the bulb men. Oh, man. My lips are getting all cracked up just looking at that... that stuff. Ugh. I, I, actually, I wonder if they changed anything between the Japanese and the English releases. Product I think wise. they did a lot, actually. I know that some things got changed in terms of, like, price and stuff like that, because I believe, like, there was a demonic baby... Or something to that effect that they changed the price of and the name of in the English version. But I don't know in terms of level design what got changed and what not. Now, you uh, you see me like trying to round up all the Pikmin before I go into the into the hole to go to the next floor? Uh, you don't have to do that. All of the Pikmin will just come with you no matter where they are to the next floor. And it saves you a lot of time with having to round them all up before you try to head out. So, yeah, I recommend I recommend doing that. Chapstick. <laughs> Survival, Survival ointment. Survival ointment. <laughs> hey man, a cold, truth. a cold winter day is miserable without some of that stuff. Let me let me tell you. But yeah, so I think at this point I realized, oh wait, I can leave Pikmin wherever. And it doesn't matter, they all jump in with me. Actually, now that I think about it, Pikmin 2 sort of continues the theme that Genku era just absolutely loved. Where the sequel of the game will have some sort of light and dark element. Added to it in some sense. You mean you mean Nintendo's attitudes towards like everything since Link to the Past? Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. But it's like with the GameCube. I think it was all uh, good old television. good old Dark Link, Dark Samus, Dark Pit, dark and Sam everyone's favorite yeah. Darkness. Yeah. You know what's the <laughs> hello worst? Darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's the worst though? Going back to the chapstick, when you've gotten so used to wearing it that you actually can't not wear it anymore. You forgot what love feels like. No, that, that, that you can't not use it, because then your lips will get just naturally dry. Well, then you, my friend, are now a coke addict. You become dependent on it. Well, he's not a coke addict, he's a chapstick addict. It, you know, more annoying and less life-destroying in this case. Yeah, so for some reason... Okay, one thing I will give Pikmin 2 is that its boss music is actually really good. I like this theme, but most of the other music doesn't really do anything for me like the the overworld themes are okay but a lot of the dungeon themes are a little bit too they 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 i don't know they they try to go for ambience but they're not it doesn't work a lot of it's very very strange in a lot of ways and we got for this dungeon which is mandatory for the record because you need white pikmin in order to beat the game you get the worst upgrade in the history of the like in the history of everything you get the ability to lie down and do nothing, which was an ability you had from the start in Pikmin 1. So, I'm just gonna bring this up. Olimar is so stupid, he forgot how to take a nap. He forgot how to sleep. Pikmin are so adorable, carrying that disembodied head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they didn't do that in Pikmin 1. The the Snagrits just exploded into pellets, but they didn't. you can't have pellets under them. Tonight, ground. we feast. You know, a skull is mostly just bones. Actually, they don't, they don't feast on anything. You can't grow Pikmin in the dungeons, which is also another thing, which is really annoying. So, let's say, oh, I don't know, a bomb lock randomly falls from the sky and kills half your Pikmin. You can't get any of them back, so... Yeah, you, res you better reset. Most of my runs through dungeons, 
I don't lose many Pikmin, but that's just because something bullshit happens which kills half of them, and I reset the entire goddamn floor. Five Man Knapsack is a funny name for it, though. Yeah. So, yeah. Beast. Beast. <laughs> no, that's the bad ending of Pikmin. <laughs> Pikmin 1. Uh... So yeah, now we're finally out of the... It, it, it's frustrating, because the dungeons are clearly the focus of the gameplay, but I find them so boring that I don't want to be in them. But there's really not much to do in the overworld either, so I figure I might as well go into the dungeons, because at least then I can make some... I can actually make some progress towards my goal. But then I just I don't want to be in the dungeon anymore. It's a vicious and really boring cycle. Until it gets irritating, and then... But that really... The, the really bad dungeons don't start until... Uh, until after you get most of the Pikmin colors. Like, after you get yellows and blues is when the really, really irritating ones tend to start. Was that really necessary? Yes. Yes, it was. I know that the white ones can't actually hurt your Pikmin, but they were there, and they were irritating me. So, yeah. It, it's... Once a tyrant, always a tyrant. <sighs> Hey man, I told you. you we're, I told tired. you we're space Clis Christopher Columbus. Okay, it's what we do: <laughs> enslaving indigenous peoples, making them all sick with poison. We did intrude on a bunch of red people's land. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So the 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 thing. So all aboard the Mayflower. Oh, you mean like the ones that grow from the plant? Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, Just get on. This. And whenever you complete a dungeon, you get a nifty little flag. Okay. You want to know what's also bullshit? You need to you need to break down this. You need to break down two poison. Oh no! I'm poisoned. Even though Pikmin already got poisoned earlier, and we didn't have this dramatic cutscene for some reason. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know how to hold my breath. <laughs> okay. So here's the frustrating thing. You're only given 15. You're only given. Oh my God! Why does the game keep on throwing Pikmin white pick non-white Pikmin? Uh, whatever. So anyway. You need... That's racist, sir. Whatever. Um, it is racist. <laughs> okay. So you see this... You see this... Uh, this uh, wall here? You need to break down this wall in order to get the item that will allow you to get more... Uh, to allow you to get to the next area. Here's the problem. The game only gives you 15 white Pikmin in this early... In this early area because... That's all that they give you in the in the. Um, that's all that they give you in the dungeon, and only white Pikmin can break down this wall. It takes forever. There's nothing else I can do here at this point. I've already pretty much gotten everything else that I can get, so I have to sit here and just watch these 15 Pikmin break down this wall. And what makes this like? I mean, granted, this is not exclusive to Pikmin 2. There's a wall in the Forest of Hope. Yes, yes, I am speeding it up. It took forever. <laughs> like, oh my god, it's it took like five minutes. It was ridiculous. But anyway, this is not exclusive to Pikmin 2, because Pikmin 1 did have a wall like this in the beginning of the Forest of Hope. But you could break that with like 30 Pikmin. This you use 15. It takes... Why? Why do this? Why not just have poison spawners or something? Why make the wall take this long to... It's This is almost half the day. Almost a quarter of the day was spent on that goddamn wall. And there's two of them in this area. The other one you can thankfully go back to when you get more whites. But this one, if you want to do anything else that's interesting, you have to you have to break it. Oh my god, this game, I hate it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I tried. To, I try to be positive because I know a lot of people love Pikmin 2. A lot of people say it's their favorite. You can think that. I'm not going to understand it, but you can think that. But you're going to have to. But if I'm going to put up with you guys liking Pikmin 2, you're going to have to put up with me hating it because. It is... It's miserable. I, I despise it. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> Makes you wonder why no one ever suggests, like, popping over each other's backs and climbing over the walls. That's something that Pikmin should be able to do. Like, especially... Like a daisy chain. Like, especially since you're not bringing, like... You know, because, again, like, you'd have to break the wall in order to carry something past it, but that actually would be really cool for a Pikmin sequel to, like, make a Pikmin chain... And, like, be able to climb over certain obstacles to explore a little bit earlier. Yeah. Or, the, like, sub different pigment formations to do certain things. Yeah, the, that, the problem with that kind of thing is that th that kind of multifunctional control really wouldn't work in an RTS on a D-pad. Uh, uh, on a gamepad, rather. Yeah, that's why the pointer, that's why the pointer controls are so... 
are so great. And it's kind of why if they do make a Pikmin 4 for the Switch, and not having the pointer control option is going to be sad, unfortunately. Um, like, I guess maybe you could use the touch controls if you were playing on... Well, no, I mean, the, uh, the Joy-Cons are Wii remotes, so... Kind of? It, it's, it's a little bit strange. Like, they, there's no sensor bar, so it's pointing entirely with the gyroscope. But it gets the, like, because they actually, a World of Goo, which was a, a Wii game, just uh, came out on the, uh, on the Wii U, not, not the Wii U, uh, the Switch, uh, the Switch shop, not too long ago. And so they use the gyroscope to point, and that works fine, but since there's no sensor bar, it doesn't, you have to recalibrate it yourself every single time. And that can get very frustrating. So, especially if you're in, like, the middle of a heated fight in Pikmin, I would not want to have to recalibrate my controls constantly so i don't know um just get garris on it i don't know <laughs> oh oh mass effect okay so, so. <laughs> <laughs> sorry i got i got distracted but yeah i'm not joking there's literally nothing else to do in this area like i guess i could farm berries i suppose that's like the one thing i could do but i've killed every enemy and, but you don't want to end the day premature no i don't because i could be getting stuff i could be getting stuff done so instead what i'm gonna do is get a get a head try to get a head start on the um oh my god one red get out of here get out of here red go <laughs> there <laughs> we don't like your kind here <laughs> The segregation needs to stop. Racism, the the game of, de, of coordinating <laughs> tasks by skin color. Plant life, am I right? Yeah. It's we are five parts in, and we're only just now getting to the end of day sequence. P people complained that Pikmin One was too short, but I'd rather have a game that is short and sweet than something that drags. That's that's Pikmin Two's biggest problem. You know, there's individual issues with certain level design things and things that that things that individual issues that irritate me but if i had to just sum it up to one point the game just drags that's the biggest problem so i was looking up critical reception of pikmin 2 and it seems to me that the amount of praise pikmin 2 received compared to pikmin 1 is similar but i'd imagine for different reasons so what we have here is people that are a fan of either one or the other, but not both. It's, it's, it's. it's is that is that is that a sound? Well, the game reviewed well when the when it first came out because people were like, uh, Pikmin One reviewed well because it was a, a unique idea, and Pikmin Two reviewed well because it's like, look at all the things that were quotation marks fixed. Oh, Duracell battery. They a lot of this was was considered to be fixing issues that were with the that were with the the original but it's not really fixed if it just creates more issues you know i think there are people who would prefer pikmin 2 to pikmin 1 in style i suppose like a game styled like pikmin 2 more than pikmin 1 but my argument is that even if you prefer the style of pikmin 2 where it's more laid back you don't have to worry about uh, a time limit you can just explore at your own pace I would still argue that even if you prefer that style, Pikmin 2 is not a well-made game in that style. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, we just mentioned Mass Effect a few minutes ago. It's the same kind of deal with Mass Effect 1, really. Yeah, I you, mean, you, it's... you mentioned that when we were doing that playthrough, that people were like, oh man, look at all the things they fixed in Mass... Again, <laughs> quotation marks. In Mass Effect 2, when... Either they create more problems, or it just it it. Captain's log. Well, it's, it's a little Ooh, of email. In Mass Effect's case, it's a bit of column A and B actually. But oh yeah, go ahead with your captain's log, Picard. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> or I guess not. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it no more.